Winter is knocking on our door here in Vegas and in Vegas it actually does get pretty cold as well during the season. So usually around this time you crave a lot of warm comfort foods. Hot pot is one of those foods. Hi everyone, if you're new to my channel, my name is Paula and this is Nabe Hot Pot, one of a few hot pot spots here in Las Vegas, just 10 minutes from the strip located in Spring Mountain Road. In this video, we're gonna talk about what their menu looks like, the food, overall experience, and of course, how hot pot works, just in case you haven't been, because every place is a little different. Let's go. Okay, so we just put in our name on the wait list. It is gonna be about a 10 minute wait for two people. When you put in your name on the wait list, they are going to just send you a text message. So we're free to wait just inside the car because it is a little bit windy outside. So we should be getting in a couple minutes. So here at Nabe looks like everything is included in the menu for all day. Um, it costs about $29.95 for lunch, it's $25.95 and you do have a 80 minute limit. Then you get to choose up to two broths and all the meats that's included. We ordered everything except for the marinated beef and you get all the veggies and side dishes yourself. We ordered bulgogi nachos and you also have a selection of sushi. So we'll wait for that to come around. Super good. Oh, it's getting a little hot, so I'm gonna have to put my hair up, I think. First up, we have the nachos, bulgogi nachos. Mm -hmm. Bulgogi is kind of sweet beef with the onions and the tomatoes and the cheese. So good. I think if I have room later, I'm gonna get some more. Mm hmm. Brian's recommendation is the sushi, which I don't have soy sauce or wasabi. You don't have any. That's okay. This is the shrimp tempura. Mm. Wow. The good thing is they give you half rolls, so they only give you like four slices of sushi. So you're not gonna get too full as long as you plan it properly, but worth a try. Pretty decent fish to rice ratio which is always appreciated mm. this one's a dragon roll it has avocado and eel mm. dragon roll is so good the avocado is really fresh pretty good let me try this spider roll this is a bigger roll than the other two that we saw i don't know if this is going to be a one biter or two I personally like the shrimp tempura more just because it has more things in it. Federal has soft shell crab, which I don't taste as much, but I do know that it is there. I would say for me, the shrimp tempura is the most try. Another surprise appetizer. They, they um, had extra gyozas which we did not order, but that's okay. Everything's all you can eat anyway, so might as well try it. So we have here gyozas. I'm not sure if it's pork or beef or chicken even. I can't tell if this is beef or um, pork, but it's really good. It's really crispy and not too salty, not too overpowering with the veggies inside. Good mistake. <laughs> so far as far as my veggies but I got a little bit of lobster ball mushrooms and green onions I made my little sauce I'm probably gonna come back because there's a lot of people but this is what we have so far and then we got our stack of meats for 
for those who have not had hot pot before, so you get bowls and plates. They also give you a cup of all the utensils that you'll need, so you have your spoons and your big ladle here as well. I'm gonna fish out some of the meat that we were cooking and then give it a taste test. I don't know what meat we actually got, but I like to just put the meat here and then I'll grab a little bit of the broth. You can also eat rice or noodles, which you can order. This is the beef broth that I'm trying right now. Mm, pretty good beef broth. Not too strong, which is good. They also have sauces, which I talked about earlier. So I created my little sauce mixture. This is just garlic, the soybean paste, I think. Um, a little chili oil and sesame oil. Or soy sauce, sorry. Soy sauce and sesame oil. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that here. Or you could dip the meat right in the sauce. For those who are really good at making their own sauces, you can get really customized with it. I'm pretty basic. This is just your basic hot pot sauce. Oh my gosh, it's really good. Getting hot. So let's fish out a little bit more of our meats. If you have any of the like fish balls or um, there's, I think, shrimp and octopus balls over there as well. Let it cool down because it soaks up the soup. You don't want to burn your tongue accidentally. So I'm going to put a little bit of green onions in my soup. And I like just drinking the soup too. Try that beef. Dip the beef in the sauce. I think that might be my favorite cut. Angus beef belly my favorite one. Good amount of fat, very juicy, but very, very tender. Mm. I'm gonna try this now. Hopefully it's cooled down. Mmm. Very lobster ball. Not a lot of big lobster pieces in it, but it definitely has the flavor. So we got a side order of rice. <laughs> So I'm gonna try this with the short rib and the short rib here is a lot leaner than the others. I'm dip that in our little sauce. Mm. Yeah, it's really lean. I like eating it with rice because it really helps balance out the sauce because sometimes the sauce is a little strong, but really the sauce brings out the flavor that you want. The beef belly is still in the lead for me so far. So my beef belly is being challenged by the pork belly according to Brian. So I'm gonna grab those now. I'm gonna put it on my plate, put it in my sauce. a little bit of a thinner cut than the rest. I think beef belly is still mine though. <laughs> We're gonna try the rib eye next. The rib eye has like the most tender cuts. This is a little thicker than the rest. Mm -hmm. Yep. You can definitely tell this is the rib eye. It's a little bit of a thicker cut. And for the price that you're paying, if you just get the ribeye, this would be well worth it. Mm. All right, welcome back. So it's been a little while since I've checked in with you guys since our last visit to Nabe Hot Pot, but I wanted to give you guys a little recap of our experience. It's a little bit of a smaller restaurant, but the food is actually really good quality. You can really customize your sauces, just like most hot pot places. But the thing to note is that here at Nabe, you have a shared pot for your broth. Whereas other places you can have individual pots, which is pretty nice. So if you're with a group of people, you kind of all have to agree to the same broth. Might not be a big deal because it all depends on the sauces that you make to determine kind of the flavor of your hot pot. Overall, for the price, I would recommend giving them a try. This is only one of a couple hot pot places around the valley here in Vegas. So one that's definitely a good one to try out if you're familiar with hot pot or just want something that's all you can eat. Very easy to order 
order off of their menu and like I mentioned in the beginning they do have appetizers and even sushi if you're not the biggest fan of hot pot or just wanted a variety so that takes care of our latest review today here on the channel if you guys have been to this hot pot place or have another place that you'd recommend for us to check out I'd love to hear them in the comments down below but as always thank you guys for tuning in I hope you guys are staying safe and happy holidays we are getting closer to the end of the year that's it for me I'll see you guys in the next video all right, so Brian is trying the lamb. Yeah, good. All right, this is now the short rib. How is the lamb? I love the lamb. Can you taste the gaminess? Mm -hmm. You can, but not too strong. Not too strong. You just had the pork belly. I like the pork belly. The pork belly is good.